there are times that the Lord leads you to something that absolutely terrifies you, that goes against everything that you have guarded against, all sorts of things. And even now, after all that I've seen, all that I've witnessed him do in my life, in the people around me's life, you know, all of these things, I'm still afraid. And I try to be obedient, but the fear is still there. So today I opened up my, my Bible to read, and, and I opened to Joshua 1.1. 1, 1. And so I'm going to read that, because I think this might put someone's mind to ease. I know it did me. And it came to be after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, that the Lord spoke to Joshua, son of Nun, the assistant of Moses, saying, Moses, my servant is dead, so now arise, pass over the Jordan, you and all this people, to the land which I am giving to them, to the children of Israel. Every place on which the sole of your foot treads, I have given you, as I spoke to Moses. From the wilderness, and I'm going to read on in a minute, but every place on which the sole of your foot treads, I have given you. Sometimes the Lord tells us to go somewhere and to do something. And we think, what's, it's not my place. It's not my job. I don't have authority in that place. He already gave it to you. If he sent you there, he has already given it to you. Everywhere that your foot touches the ground, if he led you there, it's already yours. All you have to do is go. And we're afraid because, for whatever reason, we forget that. I know I do. He's already given it to us. Now, I'm taking this, I want you to read the whole chapter, obviously, because it goes on to talk about from the wilderness and this Lebanon, even as far as the great river, the river Euphrates. He's telling Joshua where this is yours right so when god tells you to do something it's already yours it's already done you just have to go do it and sometimes you don't won't know exactly what you're going to be doing when you get there you don't know how it's going to play out but it's already done so then i'm going to skip down a little um just for time's sake and read chap uh, verse nine and yeah nine have i not commanded you be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, nor be discouraged, for the Lord your Elohim is with you wherever you go. So don't be afraid. I'm saying this for my own benefit because I am afraid so much of the time. And I just, with all the things that are happening in our lives, all the uncertainty, all of whatever's going on, our trials, he's already with you. He's already won it. 